What is happening there, citizens of the Reject Nation? It is time to start the boy spinoff, Gen V. John, how are you? I am very excited for this spinoff, sir. That'll get better. Koi, how are you? <laughs> Effervescently ready for Generation V. That's right, man. You're a huge Ooh, boys fan huge. over. I read huge. this uh, in 06 from the beginning to the end. Cannot wait to see what they do with this shared universe of boys. You know what? I can't wait to see what our audience does when they check out www.rejectnation.com. Shop.com. Right now, John and I are rocking oh. these shirts. Who influences the influencers? But we also got this shirt. We just launched this shirt. Snip, snip, Ahsoka, baby. Get it? And this one we have. And that one. And that one. And we've got even more. And it is seriously one of the best ways to support the channel. And this month already has been our most successful month. So thank you guys so much. Your support means a lot. And especially when it comes to a show like this, which undoubtedly we're probably going to get a yellow dollar bill sign. The sub Support is very much appreciated. With that in mind, leave a like on this video. Go ahead, subscribe, click the notification bell, because of course we're going to cover the rest of Gen V. And as always, full length reaction watch along where you single with your own copy of Gen V, available for our Super Sexy Rejects at our Patreon page. We cover stuff things exclusively over there with reaction highlights and watch alongs included. Let's swing into action. Ladies and gents, soups and civvies, rip up the history books. Because in New York this morning, Godolkin University All-Star A-Train. A-Train! Ooh. First African-American on the world's premier super team. Black Sweet. Panther. Welcome A-Train to oh. the seven, Which proves what we have been saying for a long time. We live in a post-racism world. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. Oh, there it is. <laughs> this is history. Don't smile. Come on. You have to do it like Kendall. He goes clubbing with Jake Paul and Scott Disick. Sweet. <laughs> it's a start. No, oh, no way, Clancy Brown. Good one. Talk Queen Muve. Delete it, Marie, delete it. <laughs> What's the matter? Power. Power. Let me get you some Pepto. It really is fine. Yeah, she give like birth to super beings. I'm so comfortable right now. I'm so <laughs> terrified of how this debuts. This is a room I belong in. I'm fine. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> oh no. Did it just yeah. oh. oh no. You know it did. Oh no. Oh. Mom? Oh girl. Oh no. Whoa. Oh no! Oh my god! Oh no! <sighs> oh, Ice Man and Carrie. That's already such a moment for a teenage girl. Yeah. They just made it better. She won't forget. Couldn't even have five minutes of sweetness in this world. <sighs> I'm a bad bitch and I got bad anxiety. <laughs> Ever since Starlight left the seven, I've just been inspired to speak my own truth. We all have boundaries, right? And that's just me being real. Okay, so this so is taking a timeline place. before this, and now it's present now to the boys. Taking place after boys season three. Okay. <laughs> Her story. <laughs> this guy the only author in this universe. <laughs> that's cool. She has blood bending powers. What everyone wants. <laughs> blood bending. <laughs> I'll take it. That's a legend of Korra reference for y'all. Well, Avatar. Oh, that's always the ball. It's all fake, you two. <laughs> Make it beautiful. I just realized I didn't even see the trailer for this. Whoa. 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 <laughs> She's but like how, a Morlock. But how fast does she regenerate blood? Yeah, is she going to black out? Does she need to be eating red meat always? Oh, yeah. That's... Oof. Oh, wow. It's like an old school Wolverine power. Like, it hurts every time. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Ah. She gonna come back later. <gasps> That's a callback. We've seen that video before. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> wow. Guess I'm just surprised oh, that I can go. Right? I mean, it's a full ride. Wouldn't be surprised if you ended up protecting a city one day. I think you meant to say first black woman in the seven. That's exactly what I hope for you. But a, a god you graduate, um, you could wipe all that clean and start fresh. So don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> god you. The center she's at, did they explore that in The Boys Diabolical? I'm Dean Indira Shetty. Welcome to Godolkin University. Is she the woman from Game of Thrones? I think so. Curriculum, such as hero ethics and understanding branding. He's a beast guy. <laughs> <laughs> Alumni include stars from such shows as Riverdale, Pretty Little Liars. Yes. Oh, look at this. It's like a <laughs> the seven, draw. Yeah. Uh, the Lamplighter <laughs> School of Crime Fighting, which is... Oh, it's Lamplighter. Rose Glass. It's like a church of the seven. To protect America's greatest cities. Wow. Oh, the Hogwarts combo with... Oh, it's magic. Godolkin is a safe space for you to thrive. Good We're super Dolkin. excited to meet you. You're a villain. <laughs> Ranked one. Do that as sinisterly as possible, please. So it's like Xavier School meets Catholic School meets Hogwarts meets my hero academia meets Starship Troopers. <laughs> what else does it I'm meet? Doing my part. <laughs> I love that the Vought branding is so strong, but also like separately the Seven branding because the, the comics always felt like the world was so established and this will build out the boys' world by having a, a, a show running simultaneously. You need to take that autograph Maeve merch is insane. <sighs> Day one, I got you. Whoa. So I figured. Whoa, is she really tiny? Against the toughest motherfucker here. Yes! That's oh. my gerbil, David Crusoe. Yes. <laughs> About to go down. Welcome to... Uh, that dribble cannon. Fuck. <laughs> you must be Marie. No, down here. I'm Emma. Oh, this really does feel like a college show. I think it's the lighting, something about like the way it's shot, right? Just the vibe and the music choices and the casting and the <laughs> setting. <laughs> ah, the show. The literal commercial for a college. <laughs> Are you cool with David Crusoe? I've never had a pet. Who's David Caruso? You didn't see Jade? Who references Jade? <laughs> <laughs> so what were you doing? Um, a YouTube show. Fun size with little cricket? Well, I'm kind of like PewDiePie without the Nazi stuff. <laughs> Wowie. <laughs> Good. <laughs> so what are we doing here exactly? Dude, his workouts are practically at the social event of the season. What's up, Golden Boy? Oh, yeah. You know when Golden Boy flames on his clothes burn off? Andy's uncut. Oh, he doesn't Wait. have a suit that actually accompanies his power set. Not no. yet. I think it's intentional for him. I am not sweating the incredible Steve or anyone that has the in their name. I hope not. I got 10 grand on it. Damn. Well, damn! I'm sorry. Yeah. What is the other guy's power? Is he just Getting invulnerable? Punched. I like that we're opening on a gladiator match. Big fiery sea cucumber. Hi, Kevin. I'm gonna be down there one day. Looking off his flaming sharpe. <laughs> uh, Number one in the top ten. Wow. wow! Please tell me he heals. He is he like oh, the detachable good. kid? <laughs> it's like a violent version of detachable kid. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next time. Thanks, man. Yeah. Aw, sportsmanship. Can I borrow your phone? I don't have one yet. You don't have a phone yet. Wait, are you Amish? <laughs> Is that Amish a thing? Blomish. Blomish. Coming to ABC this fall. Jordan Lee. First of all, you're awesome. I signed up for Brink's freshman intro to crime fighting, but it's not on my schedule. What's your name? Marie Moreau. You were rejected. It's called alliteration. Superior name. Everyone who majors in crime fighting takes intro. I mean, you're competing with kids who have cleared homicide cases, who have over a million followers, and you. Ugh. Mm. Branding. You don't even have an Insta. Social media Can factors I talk to into this. Brink about mm. this. No, I made the call. I'm his TA. Who are you to reject me? His TA. Jordan. What the? F Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, that's the fastest draw I've ever seen. Yeah, gonna need to buy me a new shirt, Professor. <laughs> Sir, she. I mean, he. They. they rejected me from your intro class. They don't know me. That's so. It's Clancy Brown, a bad guy. I mean, inevitably. <laughs> Please, no. I love him. 
I could go all the way. I just, I just need the chance. Come on, old white man. Performing arts is a fine program. <laughs> you could be on Dancing with the Stars. Ugh. I love that just like the boys, it's you don't know which way cliche is going to go. Like, does that work and get her in? Or is it, because that show always like skirts expectation. Very true. Very true. <laughs> oh, she's got to do something oh. to go viral. Oh, yeah. Good call. Oh, jeez. We got a runner. <laughs> Good stunts. What's going on? He's tweaking on meth. Oh. Just regular meth? Just good old-fashioned meth. <laughs> Plus oh. superpowers equals. Yes. <laughs> oh. 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 Leaves such a trail. It's like scorpion. <laughs> it's not meth. I'm not going back to the fucking woods! To the woods? Stay out of the Forbidden Forest. <laughs> it is Hogwarts. <laughs> I did not think we'd be following him. Yeah, I thought it would stay a mystery for a bit. Uh. What is the woods? Eh, we know darkness lurks in this world. I mean, you know. Oh, the woods. Performing arts won't be so bad. Just trying to make friends like a normal human. What's wrong with performing arts? It's where all the Stop. most annoying people go. <laughs> <laughs> An elevated superhero thing, really a meditation on grief told through 70 years of sitcoms. And Zach Braff is directing. We're friends, so. See? Yes. The most annoying people. <laughs> <laughs> Theater kids. <laughs> I've seen you in something. I did do a small reoccurring in Chicago Fire. Hey, real show. They're her YouTube channel. A little cricket. Oh, my God. You are so funny. Holy shit. No, that's right. Um... <laughs> Fun size, a little cricket. Oh, this is what it's like when I meet actors I respect <laughs> who happen to know me. <laughs> Fun size, Greg. And where have I seen you? Uh, right here. Hell yeah. I gotta go. <laughs> oh, it's that fire girl from season three, Soldier Boy's X. You remember when we first met? Chapter nine of your book. <laughs> I had to sit on a folding chair in your folks' living room because you kept burning holes in the front. Is that Arnold kid? Patrick? Yeah. Half name Carbide Alloy. Ooh. Concept art. <laughs> yeah. No more showing your balls to America. <laughs> Hope an AI didn't make that. What a great thing to do between seasons of like impact and. But you, my boy, are going to the seven. No draft, no nothing. The next white guy in the seven. It is interesting to step back into a world where they have no awareness of how corrupt and evil the seven actually is. Yeah. Yeah. There's an element of tragedy <laughs> baked in. I was coming up with your superhero name. You want to hear it? Bloody Marie. Ooh. That's terrible. <laughs> it's kind of nice. <laughs> that skinny kid. You seen him before? The way they dragged him off. What about just... Bloodline? That's right. Ooh. He was out of control. Okay, Coagula. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great one. <laughs> a few of us are going on a field trip off campus. Golden Boy, myself, a few others. You should come. Let's go, Madam Plasma. <laughs> Breaking curfew. I can't afford the trouble. Fire fighting building at 10. You change your mind. You need to learn to take risks. You don't understand the world ending trouble I'll be in if I'm busted. My dad is really strict. I'm going to be f***ing off about this the whole night, so if you don't go, just be prepared for that experience. <laughs> I have anything to wear. Please borrow whatever you want from my closet. <laughs> I like their chemistry together. Damn, girl. Glow up. I'm Luke. I know who you are. Yeah. <laughs> I know every... Stop. Rain it in. Uh, come on, we'll take my car. Not the same stuff that other guy was on, I hope. They know how to sneak out. Yeah, Very in the most sneaky way. In the gold Porsche. <laughs> Subtle. Oh, no. Mm. She's on YouTube. Go get some validation. You deserve it. I can't believe I'm at Seven Tower. Let me guess. You were six years old in a Maeve costume just dreaming about making the set. Now I do. <laughs> I didn't even know I had powers until I was 12. My parents gave me V as a baby, but it didn't hit till puberty. Oh, they must have been excited. <sighs> oh, you have no idea. I'm sorry. I, I'm lying. What? My parents died. I don't know why I do that. 
My brother passed away too. I'm sorry. But was it similar to, <laughs> or did he just die? He just got sick. For my sister. I want to prove to her that I'm not. Being a hero is, uh, it's not what you think. You know, if you're going to do this, make sure you do it for you. Because I'm not. <laughs> Don't do it for people. They cast so well. Everybody's so interesting and so quickly. <laughs> I used to too when I was 14. <laughs> Wowie. And you stopped at 14. <laughs> yeah. Hey, can you try something? Yeah, you knew it was coming, Pete. I don't want you to think I'm weird. Shriek down, girly. This must be what the guys always ask for. At least date two. Get a little. Well, that wouldn't really work because, like, not on me. He wants her to be the gerbil. This is going to be fun to edit. <laughs> 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 I can feel it. Off Whoa, like the Tom Cruise memes. Do not turn her into a kink, sir. Fetishize her existence. Wait, here, I'll just take a minute. Why do our two lead girls put up such a front? Yeah, who in life does that? It's not real. Mm -mm. I'll just be a minute. Oh. <laughs> yes, good. No, take off. She's not taking off. She's going right back in there. Ooh. Oh. Oh, my. Whoa. So she retains the strength. And each heave yeah. is another size down. Oof. How did these powers develop with these <laughs> specific triggers? <laughs> wow. Yezu Christe. Whoa. <laughs> We're actually showing it. It's the golden age of television, right? Here. Okay. <laughs> oh my Is goodness! This the biggest you've ever seen? No. I mean, yeah, relatively. Ugh. Uh. Ugh. What we this must have been like to shoot? <laughs> they actually gave us a whole close-up on it in the pilot. A macro. That responsibility and having to work with my dad. Fuck that. That's all you. Oh no. And I'm proud of you. I love you, man. What secret are you harboring? <laughs> what happened to your brother? Did you kill him? Yeah. Now, who's that guy's dad? Oh, shit. Someone's rolling. I think. Huh? Yeah. Definitely. Ooh. Oh. What's going to make her bleed? Oh, God. Bleed? I'm so afraid. No. <gasps> the woods. Into the woods to look for trauma. <laughs> so he was experimented on too, huh? I wonder if that skinny guy's his brother. It's a good theory. Maybe he has to take the power from his brother or something. I'm waiting for my boyfriend. Fair enough. How about heads? I stay. Tails? I leave. Harvey Dent. <laughs> <laughs> that all the bird can do? Yes. If I can get this little birdie into his cup, will you agree to, at best, go home with me? And at worst, we hit the dance floor and have a good time. Oh, I feel like people would notice that, right? Yep. No, yeah, you knew it, man. Oh. Blood her up. Never. Oh, no. Blood patch. I knew there'd blood be blood. Patch. Now I'm Powers is too risky, ever. We need to get the fuck out of here now. Uh, oh, you guys are perfect for this up. Yeah. Oh, she's noticing they're not doing anything heroic. Oh, Come on. She's going to be the one caught. Saving her is like saving your mom. Go for it. Well, that sound design's great. Blood bend. Oh, that's so cool. <gasps> You're gonna go viral <laughs> for heroics. <laughs> She's alive. You could be a healer on the seven. You're living everyone's dream, and your roommate's <laughs> gonna resent you for going viral too. Yeah. But you're also out. For so what's the school gonna advice? do? This lady fell bleeding. They're gonna this let it slide. She saved the girl's life. Okay, sure, you're the hero, but I'm the one who made you go. So in a very real way, I'm the hero. This <laughs> guy in the chair. Sorry for all the. 
blood on your clothes. Oh, God, worth it. Oh, she's sweet. I know so many people like her. <laughs> <laughs> Marie, right? Professor Brink's office called. He wants to see you. Oh, it's happening. Just me? I don't know. Also, I'm not your assistant. Get a fucking phone. <laughs> <laughs> I've dedicated my life to studying superheroes. I think it's safe to say that I know more about soups than just about any soul alive. Yeah, but you might be too good. Fred McAllister of Scarberry, UK. Who's that? Some powerless schmuck. <laughs> <laughs> See, his old dog Arnold jumped into the ocean, and he started to go under. So Fred, he hopped into the drink, and he managed to save his old mutt, but mm, he man. drowned in the process. That's sad. That being a hero, a real hero... It's not about yeah. glory. It's about sacrifice. It's serving and protecting. There's a way to manipulate in that way of thinking, isn't there? Not this guy. Never. Sorry, I'm to tell you this, but sacrifice. you're being expelled. <laughs> yep, there it is. I was worried when it was positively Andre, brought in. Jordan, they're going all the way. They could save thousands of people. Oof. But not if TMZ finds out that they almost let a woman bleed to death because they were high. Somebody's got to take that hit. Wow, dude. I can't go back. They're going to send me to this adult facility oh, that... You're a resourceful girl. You'll figure something out. <laughs> Man. Those blood powers of yours, they're a non-starter in middle America. There's no four-quadrant appeal. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It was either she's going to think she's getting expelled and then know it's good. But, but when, when it was good. When it was good, I was like, yeah. she's getting expelled. <laughs> yeah. I knew I shouldn't have gone. Oh, what happened? I didn't ask for this. For you. Just... Oh. Leave me alone. But but we're coming of age. Where are you? Sam. It's not a dream. It's real. Damn. Please help me. He's in the upside down. No, stay away from me. You're a monster. <laughs> Those are tricky power because you leave your DNA everywhere. <laughs> She's very findable. How do you feel? Because I'm sweating cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are the best. <laughs> oh, you about to see something you're not supposed to. Yeah, what's about to be in that room? Oh, 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 oh no. That's what I'm talking about. <gasps> I had to. I didn't see anything. You don't know about the woods. What? Okay, please, he, he fell asleep with a camel lit in his mouth and he burned himself. Now what you heard the guy say in the woods. Why did you have to come, Marie? Oh. No, man, come on. Damn it, dude. Hey, what the... <laughs> Move. Not until you chill out. You're in on it, too. Oh, is he the big supervillain of the season? Oh, what do you got? What do you got? Go now! This is a they fight. Yes. <laughs> cool. They have different powers in the different forms. Uh, Invulnerable in speed, maybe? They're both wonder twins. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Oh, you're going down, Homelander Jr. <laughs> <laughs> There's no need to kill them. I made my point. Can we do this later? There's got to be protocols in the they, school for they violence. Cut right to the Homelander statue. Yeah. That's a journey of where he could be headed. He killed Brink. Whoa. Hey, hey, take it easy. Uh oh. Hey, no, no, fuck everyone else. It's just me and you. You know I love you. Yeah. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. No! Ah. I'm sorry. Oh, that's oh, tragic. Was he gonna... Please, I love you. Please don't burn don't. me. Don't. I'm so sorry. I think he's gonna dispose of himself. Yeah, I'm wondering if it's... Is he gonna self-immolate? <sighs> Wow. Flame on. <laughs> what are you, he's what gonna, gonna do it right now. Oh <sighs> Yep, 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 yep. <sighs> this is a good show. Yeah. 
Wow. <laughs> what a great nice. needle drop, too. Oh, oh man. Goodness. All right. Well, we got two more episodes oh. all out, so we just want to make these discussions short. Um, but I, part of me was skeptical about I didn't even watch the trailer for this. Part of me was skeptical about this show that it would just be something capitalizing on the boys and could be just be discount boys. Uh, but it's something very different, and the writing and quality and acting is just as good. Yeah. This well deserves to be a like a, a companion piece to the boys. This is really, really, really great stuff. And I I love for a first episode, I lo- I love that a lot. That was that was excellent. I'm I, I'm very much interested in uh I mean obviously, you know, the boys has the the freshness of an introduction of of a new world and whatever. But I love the kind of characters we're choosing to focus on and Sure, we got a mystery that is. I'm looking forward to unraveling it, but the way they toy around with like certain cliches and directions you think it'll go, they know how to mislead and misdirect. Uh, really well done, but I'm very much invested in our main central character. And God, that was uh, that was really well done, guys. Mm-hmm. All right, everyone, let's move on. <laughs> no one else needs to talk. All that matters is done Greg man, said done. where Greg, Greg got his two Greg cents. got his opinions in, and uh, you guys are here just a little pretty. Let us know in the comments what you think of Greg's, Greg's opinion. Yeah. <laughs> Do you agree with Greg? Do you disagree with Greg? <laughs> well, let us know. Uh, Thumbs up for Greg's take. Um, Juan, say something deep. Oh, hey. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> this is a day and age wherein I almost always now greet any sort of spinoff or expansion of successful you know, franchise core with a bit of skepticism just because there are so many things that feel like watered down, you know, tributes to the thing we all love. But I think this is a really wonderfully pitched show so far in that, you know, the boys is looking at all this from inside the machine and from an eye line that is, you know, more at eye level with the machine, whereas this gives you an opportunity to explore a world like this with the implications it has from the shadow beneath the machine. And I think that's a really cool thing. And then, you know, everything else, I think, you know, the characters they've laid out here are interesting and appealing. The acting is great. And this just uh, went places in a first episode I wasn't expecting. It took me by surprise just as much as there are moments where you're like sitting there going, "Okay, well, if this is going to be positive reception or negative reception, it's going to go the opposite way. You know, there are things beyond that where I was like, wow, I was not expecting them to go as hard or for certain things to play out this way. And now, you know, it's like there's that whole new sense of discovery from episode two of like, who, who's really going to be the ensemble of this thing? Aside from, you know, our main character and Marie, and I assume Cricket is going to come back in some way. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, this was a uh, really striking action looks good, you know, for the most part. There were a couple of action moments where I was like, OK, this is a bit like a TV editing fight. But for the most part, when it counts, that's the boys. He's sure. <laughs> but uh, but when it counts and when they do their big, crazy, spectacular moments, those always hit. And uh, yeah. her power is very striking, all that good stuff. Main girl kind of reminds me a bit of a placement of Starlight, where she's in a journey of discovering just uh, how much disillusionment there is in the universe she wishes to live in. But it's also mm-hmm. like a form of escapism uh, for her yeah. to hide from her from her pain, you know. But it, the, I, I think you could draw a lot of parallel. It's interesting how... When you look at The Boys Season 1, the first super that we followed was Starlight. Yeah. Along mirror, but then, you know, you, of course, you're following Huey's journey. But following Starlight, where both were like, oh, I, I want to be part of the Seven, and I have this certain, certain sort of vision of what it means to be a superhero, and they both seem like their purpose is to be part of the Seven. That That, that is what, what will define them and make them their greatest self. Uh, where but their backgrounds are very different, mm-hmm. uh, you know. Hers is a bit like Rogue. Yeah, yeah. You know, from X Men two thousand. Ah, uh, yes, Anna Paquin, the only Rogue, <laughs> the only Rogue that ever <laughs> existed. The last stand. <laughs> Take it away, coy monologue. Okay, a few different things hit me immediately. One uh, actually came from the other perspective. I didn't watch the trailer, but because I didn't want to know the tone, because I trust in. Kripke and Goldberg and what they'd done so far with the boys. I didn't so even know that they developed it. Oh, yeah. really? I thought there was like, like a whole new Oh, team. I followed the trades like hard on this. Oh, yeah, I so I, I avoided footage, but for the opposite reason, um, I'm a bit inundated with this spinoff culture and like the, obviously the barrage of superhero content. 
I like most of it. I like a little over half of it, but I like a lot of it. <laughs> and I think overall, it's hard when there's so much of it to find fresh ways. But I thought if anyone could make a spinoff, it'd be the boys team. So since I knew, I think I was more optimistic. But I likewise avoided it because I knew that I trusted them to do what I thought they would. And this is actually exceeding that expectation because the boys to me was the exact right time to make a, a show that played with what the comics were doing back in 06, which was that was when team books were really popular. That was when it was like the crash of the 90s led to this big surge of new comics in the early 2000s, like the Ultimate Universe. And that led to a lot of big team books being commentaries on the team worlds of DC and Marvel, right? You had like the authority we're going to get soon and you had all these like almost Mm -hmm. superhero, superhero teams. So the boys was really jarring in that it was like, okay, how do we do a commentary in a new way? And it was like, let's just see how far we can go. And it was just hitting homers of, of violence and depravity. And it was really swinging for those fences. So I think what they did really well with the boys was it came out at the exact right time of, okay, we have established superheroes are popular. And how do you do a commentary on popularity and subvert those expectations without seeming like you're just doing what everyone else is doing with parody. And I think the boys did it by addressing uh, capitalism, by addressing basically the Amazon of it all with Vought, by addressing the political nature of Homelander, by doing all those things. And I was like, how do you do that with a spinoff culture? And I think what I find most interesting about this show is with the boys, there's this whole nest of world where you meet a barrage of characters per issue. Some issues feel like they're uh, Justice League. Sometimes it feels like specifically Batman and Robin. Sometimes it feels like this. And I was hoping the show would capture the feeling of you immediately have to be endeared to these characters. You immediately have to care about their powers. You immediately have to feel like what they're a commentary on. And I was worried we would be wanting just the seven. So what they did here, genius to me, is they make sure the seven is this overarching paranoia. And like John was saying, the inside the 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 system the machine and then from the outside but they're making it from a younger perspective so you're looking up at the thing that we were commenting on Mm -hmm. looking up at the thing the first season but whereas i find the boys is a great commentary on a lot of a little bit more right-leaning ideas and that 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 commentary of power and fascism and those things this is a commentary on what youth culture sees as this yeah. progressive movement as being overly progressive for the sake of pandering. And in the first episode, they're acknowledging a lot of the things a lot of these companies are doing to like, look how good we're doing and acknowledging. Mm-hmm. So this is kind of going at the other angle from like that one's taking jabs at the right and left some. This one's taking jabs at the left and the right some. But it's coming from a younger looking up perspective versus the authority looking down all while tying in the world and making it a more immersive world. So I think not only is this a great way to build out the world of the boys, as I mentioned a few times in the episode it's a really great like between seasons world building but it doesn't feel like you have to watch the boys because it's got this overarching young different flavor so this is the way to do a spinoff because it could be its own thing and i'm so immersed well i think especially with uh, i'm not really familiar with craig rosenberg but knowing some of eric kripke's work knowing evan goldberg's work something that i think they can both really capture very well especially evan goldberg's uh prior work as a producer or writer is you, you mentioned youth, it, then this really captures the, you know, college adolescence mm. of it all and that socializing feelings. Again, there's like, there's qualities to it that, 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 that peer pressure, that shyness, that coming out of the shell, forming your own identity, finding your confidence amongst others. It's like there, there are elements of our main character that remind me of both Starlight and Huey from season one. Yeah. kind of like mix into one and putting them in a college environment. Which is so approachable because yeah. like that's the character you want to have the eye line for. Yeah, yeah. And I, I like this sympathetic approach that they had with the person who's like, oh, are they going to be the big super bad? But they're not. They're really just someone who has been wrong in some way. It also is why miscalculated decisions. That was cool. The boys does that thing, and, and I mentioned it like twice in this. But the boys is always so good at being like you expected. Ah, and even once you're three seasons in, you yeah. think they can't keep doing that. And this pilot had more surprises than I expected. And this pilot by itself feels like a, a more of a. I, I haven't seen a pilot feel this much like its own. Like okay, yeah. now I'm invested so quickly. Well, you know, I, I think Lasso, that maybe? there was a lot more. I think, I think, you know, when Boys premiered, there was a lot more. I would call it um, more guile to the way it was done. Where here, it's just 
more character storytelling, I think. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? Where I think Boy's part of the appeal of it when it first debuted was the commentary. Yeah. <laughs> you know, well, how, how clearly it's bouncing yeah. right off of what you just like, saw at the multiplex. Yeah, it was so yeah. clever. Yeah. But it was still character driven. Uh, sure. That's what got us invested. Um, but here, that's like, the, no, we already know the world that are inhabiting. And the commentary feels very secondary as opposed to the character journey. Like the way they capture the how haunted our main character, who which I feel terrible. Oh, do you know her name? John? Marie. Thank you. Marie <laughs> right, Moreau. Right. Goes down on John. I know the name. Uh, yeah. That's right. Marie Moreau. Marie Moreau. Yeah, like the island of Dr. Moreau. That's clever. Yeah. Um, the way they capture Marie and how haunted she is by her past, I, I think always... The way they, they play with the sound design, the mixture of Man, that, that was cool. throws you into the nightmare of how that she's always trying to escape and how she's always put up a front. Complimented by the the co-leading girl, the the YouTube personality. Cricket. She feels very relatable mm-hmm. for it's because I've just met so many <laughs> living in LA, you meet a lot of people like that, where they have that certain type of bubbly um, ex- extroverted personality, and but you're like, genuine. you're clearly depressed. Though. <laughs> like, yeah, you, can, <laughs> you can see it. Though. And I, I thought that she was really well fleshed out um, as well. But yeah, no, it, it, it com- it's commenting on like influencer culture. And, oh and my stuff. God. So, yeah. And that's the, the, the youth looking up, but it feels authentic. They didn't yeah. have to say sus like they actually <laughs> acted. Dumb. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can, no I say cap, the, Coy. can I say the D word at the end? DIC is that allowed? I don't know YouTube. Why don't you just spell it out? Okay, so I'm also impressed. One of the things the boys comic does so well is it's it's I'm really gonna try to you edit could this just where say we the can, D where we can keep it monetized. The, it's the be a D, complicated the, video. I, I'll say the D in the comics. The D is used very humorously, and I really was impressed at the amount of D used for jokes here and how it worked. Like these sure, are yeah. these are funny, and this is like that's the type of humor the boys captures. But it was able to do it as a commentary. It didn't feel like it was overdone. Great use of D. Yeah, yeah, it's right. funny and tragic. All yeah. At once. <laughs> As it should be. Yeah, man. This was this was really this was this was really cool. I really like this a lot. Let's watch the second episode, Let's guys. Get Let's it. do I'm it. So happy. All right, guys. What did you think about it? Leave your thoughts down below. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe. Thank you to all. I've been checking out some real rejects apparel. We will catch you all on the flippity flip, which is the very next episode. See you guys.